Hey guys, it's Caleb with Rockblocks. I'm here today with the 2020 KRX. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install our trailing arm guards for this machine. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so here we have the flap laid out. We've got this one with the backing plate already attached. How you'll do that is you'll just take two of our 20 millimeter countersunk bolts with the dress washers, and then just secure it with the small washers and lock nuts on the back side. So there's that, and that will be on the back side of the textured side of your flap. You'll get your bracket, you'll get a two inch piece of edge guard, and then the rest of your hardware. The tools that we're gonna be using is just a 14 mil socket to undo the sway bar end link nut. And we're also going to use a four millimeter Allen key and a 10 millimeter wrench. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna undo the nut that holds the sway bar end link to the trailing arm guard. This one on the inside, it's a 14 millimeter. So let's go ahead and undo that now. All right, we'll take that nut and set it aside for a second. All right, now we're going to take our bracket, um, make sure that it's the one for the correct side. The mounting ear will face outward of the vehicle. Now we're going to take our bracket and put the two inch piece of edge guard on the bottom side here. And that's the side that rests up against your trailing arm just to prevent any wear. Go ahead, just slide it on like that. Now we're going to go ahead and place that right here over the bolt on the trailing arm. The tongue of this will just slide down into the mount here and then you'll just line up the hole and then that will just go in like so. With that in place we can go ahead and reinstall the 14 millimeter nut to secure that. You just want to go ahead and torque that back to factory specs. Now we're going to go ahead and install our flap. With the flap prepared as such, you want the logos and the textured side facing the back of the vehicle, but we're going to mount it on the front side of this ear, so that way it helps protect it from any debris or damage. And you'll just go ahead and you'll place your longer 25 millimeter countersunk bolts through there and then secure it with the large washers and lock nuts on the other side. And you can see that this has a little bit of a notch that is to work with the factory skid plate for the trailing arm. It goes around it. Uh, if you have just a small gap there because you're not running it, that's okay. The flap is going to catch a lot of the large debris. You may get just a little bit of dust past, but nothing that's going to damage the components. Now that you've fully tightened all of your bolts, you can go ahead and double check them just to make sure everything is secure. Go ahead, jump to the other side, repeat the same steps, and you're good to go.